Hey Aquarius, welcome to your 2018 yearly forecast reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Nice to see you and a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, these annual forecasts have been dying to get done for you guys. So uh, we're not going to have any little chit chat or intro here other than to say I've pulled a card for each month of the year. Uh, hence, there are 12 cards with an overview, an oracle, and a love card. So let's kind of jump in and get started. Uh, at the bottom of the deck in your overall energy for 2018 is the High Priestess. So, wow, this is, ooh, this is some powerful spiritual energy here, Aquarius, you know, almost Piscean or Neptunian um, energy where you're being called to connect to your higher self, okay, and focus on mastering your intuition for 2018. You know, the high priest is very mysterious and she can be very secretive and she keeps things to herself, you know, but maybe this is something you need to consider for yourself about, you know, building and tapping within and listening more inside about what's uh, manifesting in your life for 2018. This is about spiritual growth, like I said, uh, maybe new ideas coming to you, synchronic synchronicities, uh, flashes of insight, um, messages coming through your dreams. <clears throat> so I feel like you really, really going to have to take advantage of this because, wow, there's messages coming in from your angels, your spirit guides, and what you need to do to grow for 2018 is all about this, okay? Um, you may even want to be kind of observant to things going on around you as well. I'm hearing that. I'm not sure why, but um, again, I think this is about taking that uh, intuitive stance in your life to focus on what's important for you. Now, your overall energy card is the Two of Water, which is the Two of Cups, so you have some beautiful love energy and partnership energy coming in here, as well as a reconciliation card on love. Uh, looks like somebody might be coming back into your life potentially for some of you um, to you know, rekindle a relationship with you. So let's not jump ahead. Let's just start here with January. Um, out of the gate, boy, Knight of Wands, you are on fire, okay? Aquarius, um, you know, you wrapped up 2018, I mean 17, probably enjoying your holidays, and now you're like, okay, it's January, I'm, I'm moving forward. Now, you know, the Knight of Wands is the fastest moving knight in all of the, I think out of all of the uh, knights in the deck, he's traditionally like the deliverer of the tarot, so uh, there's definitely change coming in for you. Okay, which is very, very nice and well-deserved, Aquarius. Um, this is that quest for success. You know, I think that uh, you probably have set your goals and aspirations already for yourself, which is great because that's what we're supposed to be doing in November and December <laughs> before January kicks, kicks in because you're, you're fast-moving. You are uh, ready to go. Now, some of you could be traveling some of you could be physically moving homes. Uh, I'm trying to give some different examples because everybody's at a different life stage. Um, but lots and lots of busy energy around you here with the Knight of Wands. Uh, this could also be, let's see, um, an Aries, Leo, or Sag person coming into your life as well. Um, let's see what else is going on here. You know, she's, he's, he's looking at, and they're, they're not gender specific, but um, he's looking at the high priestess, which I, I find um, really, really fascinating. Um, you know, this is that knowledge that's coming in that you're going to be able to tap into as well on a very ethereal plane, Aquarius which out of all the signs, I know you will understand what that means because it's, it's, yes, it's highly intellectual, but it's also spiritually intellectual, if that makes sense, okay? Uh, in February, 
the energy of the Six of Pentacles. Well, here you go. You know, this is so wonderful. This is about receiving. Uh, it's giving and receiving. It's a generosity card. Balance, right? Um, you know, balancing what's fair. And, and obviously to me, for you, coming here in February, this is about you. There's something being made fair for you. Um, yes, you could be the one giving. I really feel that you are the one to receive. Um, this is just really, really beautiful. Congratulations. This is a great time to ask for money um, if you need money. But I feel for some of you that need money, um, like say, let's see, in the day-to-day -day real world, okay, some of you are waiting for a school loan maybe, right? And that You get approved for that or a car loan or... Um, maybe in business you win a big customer and you get a big bonus check or something like that, okay? Again, these are overall readings, so you'll know if it resonates with you. Uh, it's really hard to hone in on the one thing because a lot of times the cards have different meanings, but this is really great. And this could be, you know, yes, this pentacles is about money, but, you know, it could be about love too, you know? You have the two of water here and, and reconciliation, so... Very, very nice. In March, okay, you have the Four of Cups. And this is you maybe being a little melancholy. Hmm. You know, waiting. Let's see here. I don't know. This could be this reconciliation coming in, and you're like, eh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want to do here. You know, this is a Cups card. You have the Two of Cups here. Um, with reconciliation, maybe you're really debating if, you know, you want to go down that road again because you have some nice energy coming in here with, you know, money and finances and you starting new things and, and completing cycles and your ships are coming in and money's coming in. So maybe you're just like not sure, you know, if this relationship is where you want to go. Right, so... Uh, Time to reevaluate, honestly. So in March, you're going to be really looking at your situation, uh, looking inside for your answers, okay? Nothing wrong with that. You have the energy of the high priestess. That's not going to be a problem. And then moving into April, you have the Hierophant. So it's all about the spirituality for you guys and the spiritual growth and manifesting your own um, uh, way of... Uh, Finding what works best for you, Aquarius, okay, on a spiritual level and manifesting like the co-creation of your spirituality and that rhythm that works for you, okay? You don't want to be outside the box of not being tapped into your heart, but it, 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 it's not, this is not... Um, not, I didn't want to say ego-based, but sometimes it's it's um, easier said than done to really come from that place of um, true true blessings and love in your heart. Okay, so that being said, you know, offers coming in, getting back to March here, I think you're going to be holding off. Okay, I really think you're going to be really debating what you want to do. All right, April is the Hierophant, so. It's a very spiritual card again as well. A lot of different meanings. So I think, let's see. So for some of you, this is going to be about you, you know, finding that spiritual balance in your life and what works for you. Others of you are going to be working, dealing with the workplace, so to speak. Uh, this can represent large corporations, the government, um, legal issues. Maybe some of you are dealing with some legalities, signing contracts, uh, let's see, he can be a spiritual mentor for you on the spiritual side. You could be maybe joining a group that resonates with you to help you kind of grow and foster through some of the spiritual changes that you want in your life. Um, you may feel a sense of, certain sense of conformity that's needed in April, and that's okay. Sometimes we have to color in the lines you know, stay within the box, and that's okay. Um, you know, your feet are on the ground, Aquarius. You are an air sign, but 
You're also very, very connected to the flow of life. Uh, you are the water bearer. You get it. Okay, so you have you have all those elements to uh, make you a very well-rounded, spiritually connected person. Um, even though you can be, um, you know, very over analytical, but that you know that's okay. I mean, we all have. Look, here's the deal. I mean, we're all a little bit at everything. When you really look at, if you study astrology and you look at everybody's charts. Honestly, everybody has a little bit of something somewhere. So, yes, you know, your main three, your moon, your sun, and your rising are your main attributes. But, you know, having Capricorn in, say, your 12th house, spirituality, could really mean something so different, right, within your life. So uh, I try not to put too many tags on the sun signs per se, you know. Um, but... Getting back to this, I just feel spiritually that Aquarians kind of get it. Um, so maybe you need wise counsel, like I said earlier, or joining a group about you know co-creating, focusing on your purpose, right? Okay, and your intuition and what's going to work for me. Some of you, not all of you. Okay, searching for meaning in life. Did I say that? Signing docs, legalities. Um, dealing with higher ups, maybe in a company, okay. But committing to a spiritual practice too. He is really, really smart, and you're going to find yourself in that space in April, kind of looking at your life, and you know maybe this love, this reconciliation has kind of sparked you as well. You know, and you're like, why do I feel this way? Well, here's your theme. This is your overall energy for the year. So you're like, you know, maybe getting with the program and look at you, completions, the world, you know. Um, some of you have just completed a major milestone in your life. Uh, you've reached that mountain, so to speak. You've been kind of rising to the top, and, and now you're embracing what it took to get there. You know, the world is about endings and completions and now moving forward. Uh, I feel like this is you here in the center, you know, mastering whatever skills you've been trying to work on. And this is May, uh, beginning of the spring. You could be traveling. The world depicts, um, you know, maybe you're taking a trip for some of you, okay? In June, you have the Three of Wands. Beautiful. And this is you, you know, watching your ships come in, okay? This is that creative fire, fiery energy. You Let's see, you got the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And the Two of Water. Hmm. Definitely a couple of different uh, sets of uh, Aquariuses that I'm reading for, but uh, this is the Three of Wands, right? So what a wonderful energy to have. You know, you've um, laid those seeds, so to speak. You got your coins in February. You've had some justice come in to assist you, and now you're looking at kind of, you know, reaping what you sow. You're on the right path. You're trusting yourself. Um, you feel like your creative energy is flowing. And um, threes are usually about, you know, growth and expansion and opportunities and taking action. So good for you. I think you're going to get over that march, you know, on board kind of thing real quick. And... Um, you know, decide to move forward here in May, um, you know, under this kind of this new leaf of the three of three of wands here to manifest and expand, you know. So the threes follow, obviously, the two um, of wands, um, but now it's you're doing the work. So, for example, like the two would indicate... Um, you know, this new opportunity coming in, but you already have it here, Aquarius. So it's like you are now doing the work and seeing the results. And of course, this could be in relationships as well if you're building and and working on maybe this decided, okay, maybe some of you decided to reconcile, okay, and this is the pinnacle in May. Okay, so now you're seeing the results and... Um, you know, you're going to deal with this new relationship. You decided to move forward. Uh, and this also could be for some of you in the work front, you know, about mm, uh, maybe you got a promotion or a raise, okay? And you're like, yeah, baby. 
know, it's about time, you know. Manifest what I need here for my coins so I can be comfortable and share my love and be dialed in here, right? My spirituality it looks like a really, really nice year for you. Hmm. So June, July, uh, July, look at you, the Empress, being all that, okay? Beautiful. I love the Empress, you know? Whew, this is giving birth to something new. She's like the ultimate defined feminine energy. It's about um, being that successful, abundant, being connected to everything kind of feeling. Um, I love it. This is you standing in your power, Aquarius. You know, the Empress knows who she is, and she shares her gifts with the world. So this creative, inspirational, abundant energy that's coming in for you is definitely manifesting in more ways than not. And you, okay, I see that you are doing the work, right, to follow that gut instinct, that creative, intuitive energy that um, you can do so well. Look at that. So this is July. Hmm. And, you know, by July, I feel what I'm hearing is you're going to start to see things come together. You know, all your efforts, all your reward, you know, the rewards of the responsibilities and the projects and everything that you've been working on uh, moving up to this time frame is now going to manifest for you. Whew. I love it. And you're going to be continuing to work here through August without a doubt. Um, sorry, just fixing the cards real quick, is the, you have the Eight of Pentacles, okay, this is you, you know, uh, maybe for some of you in that new job, you're maybe working long hours, okay, um, staying up late or studying, maybe learning a new craft, going back to school, but you know, you have that goal and you've been rebuilding, um, not rebuilding so much, but some of you, you know, are building, 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 you know, because you wanted to assess, okay, you know, what can I do differently? How can I grow through 2018? You know, I want to master my school, my skills. I want to be plugged in. I want to improve my career and my work life and my finances and my relationships. So this is you putting the effort in. You know, you're kind of waiting for the answers, doing, doing all the hard work and, um, Public recognition, too, for some of you, you know. And nothing wrong with that, you know. Going deeper, mastering your skills, going to school. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, wow, guys, look at you. So in September, you have the temperance. Oof. You know, you guys are just on fire with spiritual growth here for 2018. It's just amazing to me. You know, the temperance is whew, that spiritual divine energy. It's going to be with you in the month of September, uh, balancing you out, you know, because you have like all the spiritual overall energy, but then you have it throughout the year too, which is nice. And you can really tap into that. You have the Hierophant Q1, you have the Empress in Q2, and now you have the uh, temperance. I know that's a kind of funky way to look at it, but it's true. That's what I'm hearing, the temperance um, here balancing you out, kind of like for Q4. Uh, this is a very spiritual card. Once again, this is about divine timing. Um, this is a very healing energy for you. And I think the biggest thing to know is that you're being guided to be, get on that right path. You know, where you're supposed to be, going with the flow, um, not forcing or pushing a situation. Balance, moderation, divine inspiration, creativity. And I think a lot of you can speak through your creativity, right? Without maybe having to say anything, but being in this space of um, internal uh, growth. So really important, you know, don't let any rush you. You know, it goes both ways. You want to rush and you don't want anybody rushing you. But this is a beautiful energy to have. Um, you know, it also rep represents Archangel Michael. If any of you feel that you need to cut the ties of what no longer serves you, person, pay, per, person, place, or thing, you just call in his divine energy and he can help you cut those cords uh, that bind you. Okay. Um, 
Hold on, my, my screen just went dark. There we go. So something to keep in mind. Um, he will be with you. Uh, so call upon him if you need his help. Queen of Pentacles, you're going to be rocking it in October, feeling pretty good. Now, this could be a um, Earth sign coming in here, um, a friend or somebody to help you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this could just be you, Aquarius, you know, emulating this Earth energy, this um, beautiful balance of, um, you know, nurturing your family, um, having the business success, managing your money and your prosperity. That's what she's all about. I call her like the Mother Earth card. I just love her. Um, she handles physical matters, money matters. Um, she makes things a reality. It's a very, very, very successful card to have. So you're going to be feeling really, really on top of your game. And you've worked hard to achieve this level. Okay? Um, this is you by, you know, towards the end of the year, you know, tapping into what you need to feel secure and have the foundation, you know, the tangible assets in your life. November, okay, Eight of Cups. So you are going to be walking away um, here in, uh, let's see, November now. I'm picking up already. You know, a lot of this, I think, is going back to what I was saying about Archangel Michael. You're going to be walking away from what no longer serves you. Mm. Some of this could be career or job related. For others of you, this could be this um, reconciliation. You know, the two of water, the two of cups overall, this energy is about partnerships, right? About having that soulmate karmic connection with mutually beneficial re relationships. So for some reason, I really feel that it's critical for you, not only in love and this reconciliation for some of you, but really, really important for you to mm, find your rhythm with the people in your life. You know, it goes back to the co-creating with the Hierophant, partnerships, friendships, um co-creating with others that will help serve you um, and you know that kind of person that is in your life for a reason embrace that because the energy overall for you for the year is about creating beautiful unions so whether it's the perfect job or the perfect place to live, or the perfect friend, or the perfect lover, or the perfect kids, okay? This is what you need to manifest, okay? And in November, you're going to walk away from the stuff that you don't want. That's what this is all about. That's what I'm picking up on, okay? You want those healthy, connected relationships. You've learned and you've grown all year, and now you're really ready. And sometimes... You know, this is walking away from, you know, stuff that you really established, but it doesn't matter, you know. I mean, this, for some of you, is about creating that new journey in your life to grow more spiritually. You're going back to the spirituality portion of it, for some of you, you want more meaning in your life, okay? You don't want to be bogged down with what no longer serves you. And you're going to be able to do that while embracing love and creating the shifts that you want, the karmic relationships you want in your life, the kindred spirits, you know. Uh, and so this is even be about family too, all right? Any beautiful union. Hmm. Look at you by December, Ace of Pentacles. Mm, beautiful. You know, this is you getting that... Uh, Ooh, tangible, brand new start in December. So about this time next year. Um, this is just wonderful to see. I love the Ace of Pentacles because it's the most tangible new beginning. I think it has the most potential. All the Aces are great. You know, they're, they're really like the number one of the tarot. But, uh, you know, if you don't take action and manifest what you want, you know, this energy can fade pretty quick. 
But with the Ace of Pentacles and everything else, you got the Six of Pentacles here all year. Um, you have the Eight of Pentacles. You know, you have a lot of, oh, Eight of Cups too. So, yeah, this is really indication of you being able to tackle, okay, and move forward with this new Ace. So I'm really happy for you, Aquarius. This is really, really awesome. Um, this is kind of very creative energy as well. You know, usually depicts that money coming in, which you manifesting all year since February, you know, but action, moving forward, you know, spark of a new idea. Some of you may be getting new jobs or, you know, finally, maybe some of you took all year to decide moving into this new reconciliation or new relationship. Honestly, I feel some of you might be dealing with new love as well. Let's see, you have, mm, yeah, you have the Knight of Wands here, and you have the um, Queen of Pentacles. You know, th this is a bird's eye view, the overall energies for 18. Uh, make sure you listen to my monthly readings as I roll those out, because I think I'm going to take one of these cards for every reading, so in January I'll kind of put this aside to see like maybe how that manifests for you in 18 or how it relates to that reading. So it should be kind of interesting, but, um, yeah, new relationship. Um, you, yeah, like I said, finally deciding to go through, you know, this reconciliation or you simply being attracted to somebody new. Like I said, I'm sorry. I know I'm repeating myself. I'm a little tired. All right, Aquarius, well, I really, really hope you liked this reading. I hope it resonated with you. Please give this a video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, please subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel already. Um, I will be rolling out some really nice offers uh, for the holiday season. I was actually going to create a separate video for that because I hate to tie everybody up. Um, so look for those. If you sign my mailing list, it's the yellow box on my website. Uh, you'll know what I mean. Um, so a lot of great things coming down the road for 2018. Uh, for all my subscribers, I want to bring you along for the ride and give you the value. Okay, give you the, the, the value that um, is worth your time. Okay, and little, you know, extras on the side for being one of my subscribers. Okay. So all the best to you. We'll see you in December for your uh, monthly readings. I wish you all the best Aquarius and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.